This is December 2nd of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Santa Claus 2. Yesterday we talked about Santa Claus, the first one. Uh, while I pull up the IMDb because I forgot to pull it up for the description, one of you people talk. Hello there, I am Gendy, and we welcome you to another day of our rockin' Christmas. Hello. Now, the Santa Claus 2 is an interesting movie and a wonderful follow-up to that of cinema. Why are you hosting? Why are you reading the script? We have no script. No, no, okay, hold on, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Giddy, why are you hosting? I'm the host. In your contract, it says I'm the host. What do you think you're doing? Big I deal. can replace you at any time. You do realize that, right? Host of nothing. Whatever, okay, um... The MDB. Why am I All quoting right, Cartoon two. Planet? Okay, Gendy, just we gotta do the thing, Gendy. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're doing this now. We're doing this now on the podcast. Not in front of the children. All right. Scott Calvin has been humble. Has been a humble Santa Claus for nearly ten years. Ten years. Really. Wait, how long is how long is between the two? All right, let me just read this. For nearly ten years, but it might come come to an end if it does find a Mrs. Claus. Woo! Woo! All right. So this came out in I'm not sure. Oh, oh 2002. Um, Ooh, it's obviously got... like Gendy was saying, the follow up to the Santa Claus, which stars Tim Al Tim Allen of you know Galaxy Quest fame. And <laughs> other that's notable. Oh, also Home he was like a. Mint. That's not notable. He just what? fixed you stuff. You're missing, you're missing the joke. <laughs> <laughs> this really he has a 5.6 set on IMDb. We're supposed to rate these, but I forgot to do that in the first one. So, yeah. Um. So, what's your guys' rating of the first one out of 10? Just, just to um, make up for that. Six out of 10. Um. Too much CGI. Second one, second one is better out of ten. I gave it two berries. All right, um, we're gonna go watch this, and we'll talk to you in a second after we're done watching it. Ah! Woo! That's delicious. I like cocoa. Cocoa superior refreshment. Ha ha ha. Get me some more cocoa! Whoa! What did you guys think of the movie? It was amazing! Was I love the subplot of the romance and the rogue Santa doll. The powerful message about not having to lie to yourself and to be a true person. Uh. The deer was a little bit annoying, but still a good part to the movie. You know, you gotta like you gotta get the little kids involved too. I don't like that deer. Hey. The, deer? the, the reindeer. The deer Which had one? charm. The the and baby the, deer. It had like no charm. Deer. Hey, come on. You're gonna next thing you're gonna tell me is that the gargoyles added nothing to Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, just you wait for that. All right, oh, um, no. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, so I can't tell you. I really need to see it still. Oh, yeah, it's one I, of Disney's I gotta best. Point out, I got to point out on Disney Plus, after the movie ends, it doesn't recommend you number three. It re recommends you the first one. That makes sense to me. They just don't talk about three. Three is the best one. Yep. Two is a hard act to follow. I vaguely yeah. remember three. Yeah, it had like Jack Frost and stuff. That that that's tomorrow's episode. Uh, ah, yeah. can't spoil that. You, you can't. Well, not everybody knows it's gonna be Santa Claus three, so it's just, just great, great, great. Look at what you've done, Gendy. What? I, great job. Wow. Well, wow. Well. You blame me for everything, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Blame you for everything because you do everything that's wrong. Why are you Fake blaming news. <laughs> Okay, I gotta clarify what people think I actually like 
hate Gendy. I don't hate Gendy. I love him. He's a good boy. He's wholesome. Yeah. Besides, I know like... the parts of your house where the lights are the darkest. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I like to strip just like completely lashed out at Gendy earlier. Like, <laughs> before this. It was like, like like a minute or two ago for you guys. So, <laughs> yeah, that was fake. Just if it wasn't obvious. I don't know if it was. Um... I just want to clarify that so I don't get comments like, Oh my god, you bully Gendy, you bully Gendy! I literally, like, this is just how I talk to him on the podcast. Like, everywhere, everywhere else, we're like, okay, we still talk to him like this off the podcast, but not as bad. In the really? future, I'm going to be the one with the fan oh. art and the relatable t-shirts. You literally only done this on the podcast. You're going to know around. Well, I mean, we, we bully Gendy off the podcast. We don't. Yeah. Yes, we do. All we, right, we love Gendy. Yeah, we love him, but that doesn't mean we can't bully him. But hey... So anyway, the movie, am I right? Oh, yes, yes. The practical effects were much better. The puppetry was very nice. Yeah. Though I've got to say, if the creepy Santa doll is played by Tim Allen, does that open this film to the Toy Story cinematic universe? Uh, Toy Story is reference, so, referenced, so... Oh yeah, and if you look in the uh, kids' bedroom, you can see a Kim Possible poster. I want that. <laughs> Call me, it. beat me if you want to reach me. I want the tiger poster from the um the Zoo Books commercials. Now that I think about it, Why? didn't Kim Possible Cause... like come out in two thousand two, or is this like no a pre thing? I don't know. I'm I'm not a Disney Channel aficionado. I've been watching I got a lot an old of VHS tape though. that ha I have an old VHS tape that had a uh, recording of a trailer saying "Coming soon, Kim Possible to Disney Channel." That's cool. Ooh. I got I got a few, a few VHS tapes that have cool recordings on it. I got um the premiere of what was it? Oh, Do the Bartman? No, not the premiere of that. It's a Christmas special. Oh, what am I forget? Oh. This is a gift I think it is. It's about a penguin who he wants he is asking Santa for Christmas. He wants to be ability to fly. Should add that to the list of movies we're gonna watch. We'll save it for 2021, I guess, if we do this next year. Yeah. It's a really wholesome special. I have the premiere of it, and it's like it's really cool because it's like sponsored by the um, Super Nintendo A. It's so cool. Um I have Do the Bartman, like Gendy said, I have MTV recordings of Do the Bartman, and um I also have I have Jojo Circus. I don't have the premiere, but it has like beforehand, it's like is like coming in like three days is JoJo Circus or something like that. That's cool. And also I have Lost Media. Um Manners with Max or Good Manners with Max. I uploaded it on a, another channel. It was a, one of the one of the uh whatever. Hey, one of the bumpers. I just thought of another movie we could add to next year's Christmas advent calendar. The what? Christmas light. It's a weird reverse lost media film that we have, but we don't know who made it and why. Ooh, ooh, we should also do um we should also do the that one that one movie that Nostalgia Critic did, um, with a really bad animation. Rap like City Street Kids? No 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 the one, the one with the tree. And it's like the Christmas you know, tree. I forgot what it's called. I think that was the Christmas it's tree. Like, it's like there's the bomb and like the dad goes away for work, so she has like two kids, the little girl just like goes off a cliff and, and the dies. guy does the uh money bags, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what uh, I don't know what that's called, but we can we can figure it out sometime. We got no we got next year. <laughs> so anyway, Santa oh, Claus yeah. two. How how about how about Santa Claus two, am I right? Pop, it Mark, was a beautiful talking? film. Hmm. Are you, are you, are, hopefully everyone's enjoying this Christmas music that's in the background, hopefully. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully you're not using Fred's Christmas music. No, I just got, like, this hour-long compilation. I'll link it in the description if I remember. Of just Christmas music. Pretty, pretty neat, huh? You know, I'm uh, surprised yeah, back during the Fred hype, they didn't do a Fred Christmas movie. Well, yeah, like, yeah, like the Fred, and then the second one. I don't remember. What's the second one? The second one is the vampire. The second one, one was like the vampire babysitter. Yeah, yeah that was the vampire. And then the third one was the summer camp. Yeah. Nothing, nothing against Lucas, who is Fred. I just 
uh, he reminds me of someone that I hate now. It's like nothing against him. I just don't really watch his content because of that. It, he makes great content, but I just don't watch him because of that. So, I don't know why. I, I actually that. read somewhere that uh, when Lucas did the Fred videos, like some part of his brain like shut off and he turned into Fred. Oh, um, it's it, it's really funny if you look at the comments on like his videos on uh, I think his channel is called Lucas, like just Lucas. Um. Like all the channels are like, hey, he looks like that Fred guy. <laughs> like all the he was and that I, Fred guy. And every, that's every single reply to those comments. Ah, uh, Lord. Um, so, what did you guys like about the movie? What didn't you guys like? And what's your overall rating? Why do we get well, a good rating? Well, you know. Aren't, aren't ratings the way I see it. The teacher was a bit on the nose. Her name's Carol. Wait. Like, her name was Carol, yeah, because it's Carol. Could have been. Could have ah! named her more, something more subtle. Could have named her something more subtle, like Coral. Or you know, Coral. Coral. <laughs> oh, please don't laugh at my horrible joke, please. Uh, well, plus, a pity like, laugh. Like Kid said, <laughs> the uh, reindeer might be a turn-off for some people. Why would someone be turned on? But never mind. Okay. No, so, I said um, turn off. Oh, but that implies someone would be turned on by like this movie or that reindeer. Reindeer, I understand. People there. like that, but the movie. Whoa, there. That's a whole. <laughs> yeah, let's keep our PG rating. You don't want us to turn into uh, Fox. The network, not the animal. Uh, oh, okay. Sure, sure, didn't you? Um, I mean, the network! Yeah, like, they'll take the anything. Network. No, that's Netflix. No, no. We're very, I... we're very anti. We're very, why am I looking at my, my webcam? We're very anti Netflix here. If you guys don't know. They killed why Blockbuster! I'm... No, that's not why. They're just a horribly ran company. Do run, just drives their shows in the ground, cancels good shows that people like. You know, approve shows like, uh, or approve that movie that I'm not going to say the name of, but you know which one I'm talking about. It's 2020. Tenth you know season which, of Big Mouth. You know which movie I'm talking about. Um, overall, just a, a horrible company. Treats their employees badly. Uh, just has a very loud intro when you when you start to have like do do at you, and it scares me every time. Not that I use it, but my parents use it, and it scares me every time. Every time I hear that, I live in fear of it. And they have the that creepy again. Gwyneth Paltrow show. This go I want that. Okay, so we have we have two shirts now. We have the um the kid just dies, and then I live in fear of that red end. Perfect. We're gonna get, we're gonna get merchandise one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Oh, we're gonna have merch worn by very edgy teenage girls. And that's our market. It market marketed. What? Is that's who we're marketing to. I think there's gonna be it, like. I'm There's gonna, gonna be up. like people fighting over which one of us is the best boy. Pop. Yeah. You can be a little bit more enthusiastic about it. My God, I'll, I'll, I swear to God, I'll Thank take you. I'll take you. I, I will take away your best boy button. Hey, maybe. Oh. Hey, maybe we can get like those little plush toys, like the Happy Tree Friends, oh, where you can like tear them open. Ooh, we can get little plushes of ourselves. Cool. Like, tear the heads <laughs> off and have little guts. We're just having, like, a normal conversation about, like, merchandise, and, like, we haven't even, we feel like we said, like, like, three things about the movie. We gotta stay on more on topic now. Um, yeah. people came here for I give the movie too, a, a I give the movie a... I give it, like, a solid 7 out of 10, I think. I, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I yeah, say 10 you should buy this, this game. game. I don't. Why, why are we gonna rate it? Why don't we because just? Because it's like tradition. It? Why don't we just like or not like it? Because that's too this vague. This ain't YouTube. That's too vague, woman. This is literally upload to YouTube. Yeah. You. <laughs> no. YouTube, bring back the five stars. I really would appreciate those five stars. Oh, there must be fl the flip note days. At, at, at the end of like every flip note, it said it would say, "Please add stars." I never got stars on my flip notes because I was not popular. 
My name is Mr. Awesome on there. I was too late to the flip note game. I got my I was, flip note with uh, 3DS. I started in like 2011. 2011. I didn't get a DSi until or, I. W I never had a sorry. DSi actually. 2010, 2011. Yeah, because, because um, I started playing Pokemon in 2011, so. So, uh, how about that movie? Oh, I don't know if this counts as PG. The movie you but, guys um, want to talk about. But, um, but, um, but, um, but, uh, the, uh, uh, what am I going to say? Oh, yeah, so in the first movie, right? Uh, I should have probably mentioned this in the yesterday's, but whatever, I don't care. Um, I don't know if this is PG or not. Uh, if you're a small child, cover your ears. If you, But if you are a small child, why are you listening to this? Uh, whatever. Um, in the hey, movie, YouTube is weird. Sometimes I, I it's a kid it's... chewing on an iPad. I think it's in this movie, in the first movie, it's, um, Tim Allen says a number that says 1-800-SPANK-ME, and that was, like, an actual, like, number you could call, and you you go to, like, you know, a hotline, you know, you know what kind of hotline I mean, I'm not gonna say it, because, you know, you Oh, boy. Somebody. And so Disney, like, legit, they, like, got mad about that, so they bought it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure something like that. Oh, no! They bought, they bought it just so they could shut it down. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Disney, you cowards! It's the same energy as Nintendo buying all those Mario movies. Again, you know what kind of movies I'm talking about, probably. If you don't know, look it up. Words! So. Can not on the subject of... That... Oh. Oh. Oh, right, we'll go, go ahead, go ahead. And talk, 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 talk. The, the scene where all the adults get presents, they want this kid, and, like... Such wholesome... That one guy, the one, Who did this? I literally, every time I see a caption that says who did this, I think of that voice. Also, his face is amazing. When he, when he like, grabs it, he, like, he's like, it looks just so done, and he's like, mm -hmm. That'd be, like, the perfect, that'd be, like, the perfect thing to do for a party. Like, look up the ages of people just so that you can get them, like, a toy from around that time. Yeah. I can't wait, I can't wait for 2000 toys to come back. I mean, it's slowly coming back. I mean, I saw the new Nerf guns have a uh, set with the old 2000s ones coming back. This is Toss Across. Who did this? Though they really need to bring back the Maverick. Come on, that's like the... That's the <laughs> 2000s Nerf gun. Serious what is... They need want to back. bring that back too. I just want it back. So and bring more. back Oreo Cakesters! I loved cakesters, Oreo what? Cakes. They What's were that? like they were like little snack cakes that tasted like Oreo. They had the Oreo cream inside of them. Oreo cream. I was like a really picky kid, so I wouldn't eat crunchy cookies, so the Oreo Cakester was like a godsend to me. You seriously never heard of the Oreo Cakester? I, I'll send you a picture of one. Just to right. prove that I'm not everyone crazy. At home, just, everyone go at home, just, I'll, I'll describe it to you. Or you can look it up, I don't know. Alright, so it's a blue packaging, it's like a cloud. There's the Oreo logo. And then in uh, white font with a red outline, it says Cakesters. And then right underneath that, it's like a little wavy font. It says soft snack cakes. Uh, it says 14 cakes in the corner. Um... Uh, uh, then there's like, uh, there's two Oreo cakesters, one on top, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, um, uh, it's like, it's like two brown, brownie, like, cookie-shaped brownies with, uh, some kind of cream in the middle, uh, there's two of them, one has a bite taken out of it, that's not hygienic to sell one of those with a bite taken out of it, in the corner, in the top left, there is a Nabisco logo, it's red, it has like a circle and then like a TV antenna on top of it, uh, it's a pretty great image. Uh, you, should, you should look this up. Oh, 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 and right above the O is a little slight <laughs> tear in the packaging. Look at that. They, they also had like, like that. They also had like the golden ones, and you could buy them at the gas station, and they were awesome. Nabisco, why did you take this away? They were so good. <laughs> Food companies hate us. All right, can you send another one? Okay. All right, so that, okay, so it's the packaging I just described before, but right next to it is uh, the same one, but it's golden, and it says golden on top of the Oreo logo, and it's sitting on a shelf, a metal shelf like, with little diamond holes in it. 
And there's like two more the, of those on top. The, uh, like it the had Oreos. the Oreo flavor to it, but it was a cake. It was amazing. Yeah. So is Trix still... yogurt, but that's gone. I never even I got to say goodbye to that. I had no idea that there's Trix yogurt until you guys told me about it. See, that's Wait, a problem. Seriously, problem. dude? You, they put that on TV! You single-handedly destroyed that entire company. Except for the cereal company. They put company. it on TV! Just They're like with the company. Oreo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just tired. like with the, uh... The Trix cereal. That was on TV with the, uh... Yogurt. Oh man, do we have Trix cereal? I'm on Trix now. Um... So, how about the holiday? How about that holiday? How about the holiday spirit, eh? Oh so, uh, yeah. Not, it's 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 totally not on November fifth, um, as we speak. It's uh, December second. Oh yeah. Actually, uh, that's actually my stepdad's birthday. Hmm. So uh, it's yeah. It's totally December. To totally December. Oh oh my, oh my God! There's the Christmas tree, and and the lights okay. and the. And this, oh my, oh my goodness, look at that And snow. the little animatronic Santa I bring out of the closet every year. Why is he in the closet? It's, it's 2020, he, he can come out. <laughs> no, not that in the closet. In the, in the, mo in the movie? It's amazing. It's <laughs> when the, when the, when the plastic Santa drinks the hot cocoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> funny ah! every time. Ah! Uh, we were all doing that. Today. I, I love cocoa. <laughs> Give me some more cocoa. That was an interesting cocoa in the theater in like 2017. I saw it twice in the theater. <laughs> Cried both times. I love that movie. <laughs> it's a good movie. I actually drank some hot cocoa before we started recording. Huh? I got some. So I was watch so I was watching Jurassic World in the theater, right? I guess this one scene, the Adonis Rex going after some people, right? Yeah. Turns around, looks at me, and says, This dude's eating beans in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I then dropped my can of I then, I then dropped my can of beans in Barris and slowly walked out of the theater as everyone left. Oh lord. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, Pop, say Greatest Jurassic, comeback just, since Jesus. Pop, what? Say Jurassic, say Jurassic World again. No. You gotta say it now. <laughs> Jurassic World? Yeah, see how he says Jurassic? I love it. Yeah. You simp. Probably. I just want to embarrass you in front of, like, the five people who are watching right now. <laughs> five people now. Man, there are so many videos trying to explain what happened to Oreo Cakesters. Well, They've like got them. nothing. They they're all eating diabetes. I don't care if they're diabetes discs. They were good, dang it. Diabetes! <laughs> you got diabetes. What? That is the best description of any food I've ever heard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes tits. Oh my god. Rest That's in amazing. peace, Wolford Grimley. You strange, beautiful goblin man. Why'd they have to take Brimley? <laughs> Everyone loved that. Wilford Brimley. He was like a grandpa. He starts crying on our podcast. Like, there's a Facebook group to bring this back. Oh, dang. There's a Facebook group for, there's a Facebook group for everything. Everything. Wow, that was loud. That, that, that was the point. <laughs> Louder. Um, so, Santa Claus 2. Santa Claus 2. Electric Boogaloo. Do you like That's the Toy Santa? It's a beautiful Santa? movie. The toy Santa yeah, the Toy fun. Santa is a good antagonist. How do they, like... How did they, um, because I'm, I'm assuming he's playing by Tim, he's played by Tim Allen, so, like, when they were fighting, they had a, must have had a guy in that, like, prosthetics and everything, when they were, like, fighting, like, because they were, like, right next to each other, because I know how, I know how they did, like, when, like, they're, like, interacting with one another, when, they're, like, um, because what they do is they, like, record with two cameras, one on this side, one on that side, and, like, they split it, you know, just, watch behind the scenes of Living Maddie from Disney Channel, same exact scenario. 
Um, all right, oh, so interesting. Send another picture. Send, can you send another picture to Brad? Okay, so it's three Oreo Kicker boxes this time at a three third angle. Uh, the normal one, the golden one, and there's a third one. It says, uh, I can't read what that says, but it's brown. I'm assuming this is um, something with chocolate. It's uh, Oreo Cakesters, and they're, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, pre that's pretty cool again, again. Oh, it says six by two on each of the boxes. That's pretty swell. Yeah, what? There are articles of people saying they've had these in 2020? What? Lies. They lie. I, okay. I look up cereal straws sometimes. Some time to time, just like get a picture of him or something. I keep on seeing this article. It says like, like cereal straws are back, but not in the way you think. And it's like it's, it's like from stupid thing. It's, I like Starbucks. It's just Fruit Loops, but with frosting. Like they're all stacked up and they have frosting. It is not the same. Okay, it's different. Stop marketing that to me. I don't want those cereal straws. I want my own. I want the cereal straws from back in the day. Good day to you, sir. You need to talk about it. No, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not fine. Nabisco, Kellogg's, please. <laughs> the world would rejoice if you brought back our snacky desires. I feel so Very. cheated. I never got to try the chocolate ones. Get a time machine. I yeah, can't. It, Those it, don't exist yet. How do you know it's it, wait, it getting, it getting, exist okay, because it's, it's okay. time travel? It's simple. It's simple. Just plan to get a time machine in the future. Write it down that you write it down to your exact time of date, and he'll come for you. And he'll give you a time machine. Wait. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe. We'll have to take out someone to prove to them we'll, we mean business. Mr. Kellogg? No, no, that orders. guy's been dead for decades. Oh, well, so was Murphy taking away my cereal straws. No, he's been dead before cereal straws. Well, then Mr. Cereal Straws needs to come back. <laughs> Mr. Cereal Straws. I swear... I, wait... Yeah, I swear, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. cereal straws were, like, around longer than they were. Alright, so I'm looking at the IMDb of Santa Claus 2. For some reason, it has Tim Allen cast, um... Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Tim Allen as Scott Calvin, Santa, Toy Santa. Aren't Scott, Cal Scott Calvin and Santa, like, the same character? I'm like, whatever. Yeah, but, you know... Eric Lloyd. Eric Lloyd plays, uh, Charlie. Let's see, how old is he now, I wonder? Let's find out. On a great site known as IMDb. Alright, he was born in 1986. Yo, what? They have his contact info? What? You can call, you can contact his agent on from IMDb. That My God, that, we could we could get Charlie from we could get Charlie from the Santa Claus movies to be a guest star on this podcast. Yeah, if we have the it. money for that. Well, I mean, we get, it's, uh, that's why you support us on Patreon. Check the link below and you'll find it. Okay, I'm kidding. We don't have a Patreon. What, yeah. what are we going to give you? What, what are we going to give you? Like, you join a Discord group or something? That's actually not a bad idea. Because, like, it'd just be us and we'd probably, like, befriend you. Let us know if you're interested in that. So. Um. Okay, this is the. Okay, about the, the Sand Calls 2. I found the weirdest. I just found the weirdest review. On um, the movie on Rotten Tomatoes from 2000 and November 12th of 2002. Okay, the scenes in which fake Santa torments the elves with a toy soldier army are twisted enough to make it worth sticking around through the mo mawkish courtship. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So okay, so I'm I'm still looking at the AMD. I like how it has like you know has a like Curtis, um, Tooth Fairy, Mother Nature, and just like at the very bottom, just Christopher Ad Adel Ad Adia, Engineer Elf Number One. Everyone else is just like these like characters that you know by name, and then just like Engineer Elf Number One. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm getting kind of tired. When we are in the middle of a podcast, and what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you can't sleep with a podcast, bro. I once saw this video on YouTube that was literally just someone sleeping for an hour. Um, was it was was it a, was it a, was it like a sleep stream? I don't know. Wait, that's a thing. Yeah, people do sleep streams, and, and then um, viewers donate and wake them up. And they make thousands of dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. I, that was... I might have to... I might have to try that, actually. That's not it's a just, bad idea. Kit, kit donated 75 cents. That's all you get. <laughs> Hey, at least be creative with the waking up. <laughs> All right, so I'm here I'm going to read a 1 out of 10 review from TV Miner on IMDb from December 3rd, 2000. The title is No Comparison. This movie was a humdrum flop. The producers and directors are really desperate. This movie wasn't even fit to make the movies. Not much of a plot. The only good acting was that of Tim Allen, who, in my opinion, saved an otherwise disastrous flick. Just my humble opinion, but I would, wouldn't waste my time, money, nor energy to see this movie unless you're really desperate. Thank you, Wait. TV Miner, from 2003. Wait, why did, they, why did they say that Tim Allen saved the movie if they hate the movie? So you're saying they didn't save the movie? It was 2003. I'm pretty sure this guy was pretty lucky to get an internet connection just so he could be like, I'm the cool one in the group now. Because <laughs> remember, was like, cool. broadband internet didn't really get as accessible until around 2007. Uh, I was really hoping you'd say 2005 because I have one um, from 2005 from Kathy138. Another one star. These are the only two one-star reviews, so. <laughs> Watching this film... Oh, this is the title, by the way. This is a really long title. Watching this film, I had a stifle to... The, I had to stifle the urge to laugh several times at the sheer stupidity of the plot, scripting, acting, and quote-unquote special effects. And here's the actual review. Watching this film, I had a stifle to urge to laugh at several times at the sheer stupidity of the plot, scripting, acting, and the special effects, quote-unquote. Any film having so many child actors in the pretty major roles is just asking for trouble. The acting is abysmal, and no wonder with su such a shallow plot to go on. You could almost drive a monster truck through the many plot holes in this story. The special effects were so bad. You could almost see a black line against the ag agent in the shot. The best part of this film was, for me, the ending. When it was finally finished and I didn't have to sit through any more mindless minutes of very poor filmmaking. An insult to the yeah. world of film. I've seen better home movies. Ow! Three, I, I, I like three to, out of eleven I, people found this helpful. I like I like to see you make a movie. Yeah, Kathy one three eight from two thousand five. I, I, I don't get it. Why are why are people like? Oh, this movie was so bad. I could. Uh, uh, it's, it's so it's so bad. Like they're terrible at filmmaking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You make a movie. <laughs> Oh. That doesn't mean they can't criticize it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at Cisco and Ebert. Look at the movie has a five, a five, a five point, a five point six out of ten on IMDb, a fifty six percent on Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> and a forty eight on Metacritic. Do we just hate this movie? My God. Yeah, it's the best one though. Like the best one. Y'all talking about number three? No, two. Oh, well, then you're a bunch of liars. All right, last review. This is a two out of ten from Ash. A I S H fan. What is that? Ish. Ash. 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 Hmm. From December second, two thousand three. I think that's a few days after this came out. No, no this came out in two thousand two. I don't know. Yeah, 2002, okay, whatever. This is a year after it came out. Alright, whatever. This movie is not... Oh, wait. The title is 
doesn't come anywhere close to the first one in the review. This movie is now not anywhere near as good as the first movie. As one would expect from a sequel, there is less story. The movie focuses more on fairy tale characters, supernatural powers, and other such fantasies, alienating the teenage and adult audience. Three out of eight found this helpful. Guys. Like the, the plot of the movie is about Santa Claus trying to find love. Come on. Guys. My oh man, Santa Claus just wants love, yo. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Santa Claus 3 came out 14 years ago. I. Uh, I just, I just I, feel I just like that to... reaction gif of like him getting old. I just need a moment. 2006. Oh no. I remember when it came out. I think I remember no. when it came out. I'm not sure. I it was like 2008. I saw like the trailers of it whenever the school was like playing a Disney movie. I thought it was like 2008. My God. <laughs> Imagine if they tried to make a Santa Claus 4. They should. I hope kids, kids just gone because he can't hear him because he's just silently crying yeah hey i, know, I, I am <laughs> it's it gonna just... be all right my childhood it was just hey the 2000s so are slowly coming back so long ago it's hitting, it's hitting them hard i'm sorry i was having a flashback Ah. <laughs> uh, fall over. Just, uh, just, uh, just die. Don't die. Would it be a bad idea to order old food off of eBay and give it a try? That's what the people. That's what the the good boys on Good Mythical Morning do. Who we? I swear to God, I didn't take the. Let's talk about that name from. No, no, no. Oh, no, God. we're getting sued? But, oh, no, but they, they own Smosh. They're so powerful. Hey, Rhett and Link are cool do, guys. They barely do, do anything with Smosh anymore. Oh, no, almost, all the time, almost, only thing they do anymore is the everything ever and fitting out water. D didn't, Ian, didn't Ian leave too? No. I'm not sure. I don't know. So, I know Anthony left a while ago. I remember when he left and then... Yeah. Have you guys seen the, um, the Smosh reacting to old videos? Video, videos. It's re they're really cool. They're funny too because they're like just like watching old videos. And well, that's actually about it. All right. Okay. You know what bothers me? Okay, we ha okay. You, you can look at you can look look this up. Okay. The first movie is him in like those red pajamas, right? Then the second movie is like this. Super Christmassy looking pi uh, picture, and then the third movie is a super Christmassy looking picture. The 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 the, the, the third the, the second and the third movie don't don't fit both aesthetically, thematically. Yeah. <laughs> no. I just Can you okay. I just looked up cereal straws on eBay on a whim. Oh, do they have them? Do they have them? Well, that's the thing. Oh, God, tell me! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you God. might change your tune after I show the price. Cause oh boy. Just just tell me. I swear to God. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Time to start grinding. Ten 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 thousand. We can afford that. We're oh. making so much ad revenue. Well, um, there are eleven people watching. Um, so I'm I'm starting to go fund me. Um, <laughs> get kits some cereal straws. Wait, I just I just want the box on. I want a cereal straws box. Honestly, out of anything. <laughs> I 
<laughs> She's like freaking out. <laughs> oh, here's some, here's some, here's some, here's some goofs from the movie. Character Oops. error. Oh, oh, it's a character error. Is it, oh, it's uh, Curtis says error. we usually try to cut them out. Parentheses the children, or cut them. Parentheses children. A little slack around this time of year, and then, then it says actually Christmas around the time that when most kill children start to behave better. So it would actually be nowhere near Christmas if they cut the children more slack. I read that horribly. And buy the Pokemon cereal for three hundred dollars. How the heck is that? You can Wait, buy. Wait, what? They got, they got the two thousand Pokemon cereal. How is that so so? Okay, how is that so so expensive? I expect to be like that. Be like five dollars. The Santa it's Claus too. It's a collectible. Two. The, the Santa Claus too. If you want to buy it digitally, it's eighteen dollars still. I expect the thing to be like, I'd be like six dollars. Why is it so expensive? Hey, do you have a DVD burner? You can do all reliable like we did back in the day. Okay. okay, I have to. I have to check this movie. I have to check the movie now. Okay, so apparently, um, after the wedding, as Santa and Charlie are coming into a sleigh. A crew member is clearly visible on the far left of the screen. He has brown hair and a beard and a blue shirt with a red lanyard. I am going to go and look at this movie back and see if I can see that. Because that is... That is honestly, I really want to see that. Oh. Um, so... How, how are you guys today? Pretty I'm good. Pretty, pretty good. Right? We gotta set the milk and cookies out for Santa. Those are gonna get stale. We got a while. Yeah, they're, go... yeah, they're gonna go stale again. All right, all right. All right, I'm cross-referencing this movie. Okay, so the wedding scene. No, wait, it's after the wedding. Oh wait, no, no. When they're Man, how long have we been recording? We don't want Craig to shut off again. Oh yeah, Craig is very unreliable. <laughs> um, Hold up. We've been recording for about. Almost an hour. That's pretty good length. I just want to find this. I want to find this error real quick before. All right. All right. I think I. Oh, I'm talking about cereal straws. I think I've had them once ever, and that was like so long ago. We were I broke had, like... boys, so we didn't get them. All right. Far left. Far left. Far left. I'm watching the scene. Okay, I have to screenshot this. I gotta put this. In. Oh my god, I have to put this on the screen somewhere. Oh my god, look at the far left. You see him right, like by the t above the presence. It's just a guy with a beard. He's just, he's just standing there. He, looks, up, photoshopped. he looks photoshopped in. <laughs> wait, wait, where, where? <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh lordy! Oh lordy! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing! Oh my god! Okay, hopefully that's on screen. I'm gonna edit that to be on screen right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, that is. I don't think we're gonna be able to top that tonight. Okay. Um. Okay, so tomorrow we're watching um Santa Claus three. <laughs> Um, have a good Christmas uh, or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever holiday you, winter are, solstice. Are you, you, uh, you celebrate. Uh, heck, even if you don't celebrate, you know, holidays. Yeah. Listen to us, please, for the love of God. Have a good <laughs> We're day. Desperate. We're desperate. Okay. <laughs> All right, be kind of rewind. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with Santa Claus.